today I'm going to show you how I made this cute little Halloween card. It is a little mini card and it fits inside of this envelope which measures three and a half, I'm sorry, three and a quarter by four and a half. And uh, the way I started this project was I was actually cleaning off my craft desk and I uh, ran across one of these envelopes that I had set aside and I thought wouldn't it be cute to make a little card using uh, scraps that I have right here on my desk. So that's actually what I set out to do. Let me show you what I used to make this project. First I started out with a piece of uh, brown cardstock that measures three inches wide by eight and a half inches long and I scored it at four and a quarter and I'm going to fold that in half to make my base card. And I'm just going to fold along the score line. I'm going to set that aside uh, and then I got scraps of a yellow, an orange, I happen to have an iridescent black but a flat black would also work, a little piece of green, this is actually a piece of chipboard that I just cut off of a scrap that I was going to throw away and I used a green on green print but a polka dot or any kind of a print would work great for this and these are all just really tiny pieces. I'm going to take my orange, I'm going to set those aside, I'm going to take my orange scrap and I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! small oval punch and this is going to be the basis for my pumpkin. So I'm going to punch three of those. This pump, this uh, pot, uh, piece of paper is called, uh, the color is called pumpkin pie. Um, and I'm going to take those uh, circles and I'm going to apply adhesive to one of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other um, ovals and I'm going to layer them on top. Um, kind of angling them a little bit so that my pumpkin shape is actually slightly wider at the top than at the bottom. Turn it over. Oops, I have a straggler there. So um, that's the basis for my pumpkin shape. I have some orange ink and it just happened to be laying there. It's pumpkin pie ink and a piece of sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and sponge all around the edges. Now as I was putting my card together, I thought, wouldn't it be fun if my pumpkin had a little more dimension to it, uh, like a real pumpkin. You know, a real pumpkin has those nice ridges. Um, so what I decided to do was uh, pull out my crimper, and I took my pumpkin shape. Now I want my ridges to go uh, up and down on my pumpkin, so you make sure you put it in there the right way. I uh, laid my pumpkin shape on my crimper and ran it through. And there is my basic pumpkin shape and uh, what I needed now is a stem so I took my piece of chipboard and I just cut a little little strip off. I'm going to kind of angle the top there and uh, I happen to have some brown ink laying around so I'm going to go ahead and just hit the edges of edges of my stem a little bit. This is probably not entirely necessary, but I'm going to add a little adhesive, oh, wrong side. I'm going to add a little adhesive on my stem piece there and stick it to the back of my pumpkin. Probably could, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to set my pumpkin down. Now I made a little tendril and how I did that was I took a, snip, a strip of green paper and I just cut a tiny little, tiny little piece off. So you have a really thin, wispy little strip and then you can take anything skinny. I just happen to have my Cricut spatula laying around. Now the handle is kind of too thick for what I wanted to do. So what I did was I actually used the, uh, the inside part. A pencil, a pen, a pair of scissors, uh, anything skinny would work great for this. I just kind of wrapped it around there and then I pulled it off and the paper will kind of maintain the shape a little bit. Um, if it gets a little crimp in it, you can just cut that off. So I kind of did that and fiddled with it uh, a bit. Let me get rid of some of these things. Uh, then I took one Stampin' Dimensional, which is just a piece of foam tape. I'm going to lay my tendril around the back of my card and I'm actually going to apply two dimensionals. One right over my tendril to hold it on and one um, lower down. 
So this is my pumpkin. And I'm going to lay it down for a moment. I'm going to bring back my green on green paper and I'm going to tear that. I actually uh, knew my card was three inches wide so I just trimmed my uh, green paper to three inches wide. I just tore it and I'm going to bring in some ink. This uh, color is just called Old Olive. I'm going to ink up my sponge and I'm just going to hit the edges of this so that they're not so go. white. Now I'm going to take my base of my card and I'm going to apply adhesive to my strip. This is going to be my grass and I want to apply it to the front of my card but I want to leave a little space. I, I just like the way that looks. I'm going to leave a little space between my green strip and the bottom of my card. And I'm going to take my pumpkin shape and I'm going to set it on my card. And now if you don't have enough twist in your tendril, you can So do then what I did was I took my yellow scrap of paper that I had and I took a one and a half inch circle punch and I just punched out a circle. I'll set the rest of that yellow paper aside because I'm going to need it. And I happen to have some more of that orange ink there, so I'm going to hit the edges of my moon with the orange ink. If you have a real pretty yellow color that goes with your paper, that would work well, or even um, Versamark. So I'm going to apply some adhesive and just stick my moon up in the upper corner. I'm going to set my card aside. This is that black iridescent paper. It has just a little bit of sparkle to it. I don't even know what I used it last for, but I had a scrap of it laying around. So, um, And the punch that I'm using now is a bat punch. It's by Martha Stewart. I got it for about $2.50 off of a bargain table uh, at the end of last season when they were putting out the uh, Thanksgiving stuff. So um, I'm going to take my bats, and what I do is I use up my extra pieces of uh, on the edge of my dimensionals. Um, so I just cut little pieces to the size that I want. And I'm going to apply. This paper is the same on both sides, so it doesn't really, it, which side of the bat I'm applying it to isn't terribly important. I just want to make sure that it doesn't show. There we go. I'm going to peel that off. I put one bat kind of flying up on the moon, and I bend the little wings on the bat up just to give the card a little more dimension. And then I'm going to take my other bat, I'm going to have him flying kind of towards the moon, and also bend those up. So that's pretty much the, the base, I mean the outside of the card, but I needed to do something on the inside. So I'm going to set my card aside, and I'm going to bring back that scrap of yellow paper. Now what I did was I bought a $1 stamp at a local Joann store. It was just something I liked. I like the words, but I didn't necessarily like the little pictures that were on there. There's a broom and some witch's shoes. So I popped this stamp in the microwave to loosen the glue that holds the foam and the stamp to the block. And then I cut off the part that I didn't want, which just left me with the words. So I have the words, have a spooktacular Halloween. I'm going to ink my stamp up with brown ink. This is chocolate, color, chocolate chip colored ink. I'm going to stamp right on that piece of paper. And now I'm going to use a punch to punch this out. This is a label punch by EK Success. It's similar in shape to the Stampin' Up! one, but not, not exactly the same. And I'm going to go in here and punch out my shape. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to bring back that sponge with the chocolate chip ink on it, and I'm going to Hit the edges of this. There we go. Lay that down. I'm going to apply some adhesive to the back. Bring my card back and apply my sentiment to the inside. Have a spooktacular Halloween. And I'm find my envelope here again. And I have a cute little card. It only took me a few minutes to pop that baby together and uh, it was fun and uh, it was a cool way to use up some scraps that I had laying around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this card. If you have any questions, email me at craftingforfun at gmail.com or check out my blog craftingforfun.blogspot.com for additional craft ideas. Happy scrapping!